hello guys welcome to my class today we are going to learn how to analyze and design a rectangular water tank okay so first open stack pro click on new project click on space give a name water tank a rectangular water tank you can choose a location length unit for me is meter and force unit kilometer and then you click on next and click on add beam then finish okay so i am going to design or modeling a water tank rest on 3 meter or say 4 meter column okay so we are going to first create a column then a rectangular tank okay so click here on the 0 and on the 4 now this is our column then up to 7 meter it's our tank now it is the height length will be 4 meters so 0 to 4 here and again it goes to the downward this is the tank and this is the column now close it ok then escape it switch up the snap node grid now add this mm, add this node to beam ok now the outside is rectangular tank and downward is column sorry we have to delete this one ok now we have to shape this so select all the nodes ok or select all the beams and go to transition and repeat because if I copy in the Z positive Z direction then just say beam or member or nodes will copy it not the um, X axis ok if, uh, let's see now step 1 and our height is 3 meter rectangular tank height is 3 meter length is 4 meter and width will be also 4 meter or you can say 5 meter okay and make sure you have select link step okay now that's what happened if I copy it just here then they are not linked okay so delete those two member we are not using that so now the upper side is tank and downward is column or okay if you want to give some heights of the tank you can give it okay for that you have to add the beam onto columns because the if the height is maximum then there will goes live load dead load and also wind load and seismic load okay so now we have to give some supports so go to front view click on support page create and support is fixed add click on the support select the nodes you want to give the supports and assign to selected nodes as I selected the nodes and assign it yes now our column is structure is fixed ok close the dialog box now goes to the main property page ok at first thickness for the slab our thickness will be 
one five okay now add it close it and our rectangle shape for the column and beams our rectangle column will be 0.5 by 0.5 and our views will be 0.5 to 0.4 okay then add it close it now we have to create the plates for the tank for that we have to go to generate surface machine okay now click on generate surface machine and select the four nodes or select the one side of the tank now select it now this shape is quadrantal so click on quadrantal machine and ok now the division you can increase or decrease the division but I am going to give it, it to 1 because the plate or the RCC structure will one side and one plate ok let's see what happened click on apply now when you click the plate, sir, plate cursor and select it then you will see this is one plate and actually this is one plate in the real life real works they are going to construct this as a one wall or you can say one plate okay now again we have to create the four plates rest of the four plate clear on giant surface machine and select those four plates or sides in a quadrantal machine division will be one you know the reason apply then these sides quadrantal ok division 1 apply this side just select the node quadrantal machine division 1 apply and the base of the tank now with the plate cursor select the plate cursor and see this is one plate ok now we have to give the member property ok so at first plate thickness is goes to the plate so select the plates and assign to select click on assign to selected plates assign yes now select the column property and select the columns go to front view press control from your keyboard for selecting multiple columns or member ok this is our column and click on assign to selected beams and assign it yes now the beams ok select the beams go to the front view select the beams these are beams sorry first you have to select the property then you have to select the member you want to give the property now these are beams and these are beam property I click on assign to selected beams and assign yes now go to 3D render view you see this is our structure this is our tank and these are column and beams ok now we have to give loads go to load page click on load case detail add loading type date here dead add live add close for the dead load we just give the self weight add and we keep also the plate load ok so go to plate loads plate on full pressure on full plate 
you can give it to the live load just assign self weight to the whole structure assign to for that as goes, goes to assign to view assign yes now go to the live load live load is for water okay go to plate load plate on full pressure this pressure goes in the bottom of the tank for in this is the bottom of the tank so the give the pressure minus 60 kilo newton okay in the global y axis add it close it now select the plate and select the plate plate is selected select the property and goes to assign to selected plate assign it yes now you see the pressure is downward on the plates again go to the live load add plate loads and goes to hydrostatic okay now hydrostatic is for the water select click on select plates now we have to select plates which plate you want to give the property okay now i'm going to select this plate okay now the see 21 plate is selected this is 21 long plate see you can select and click on done and we have selected this plate and you can see w1 is minimum global axis this is the w1 load and w2 w1 load is downward and w2 load is upward okay so give the w1 load is 50 kilometer sorry and this load will be give 2 kilometer and it goes to the negative z axis so interpolation along global axis will be z and it will be local z give the give them minus if you don't understand just select loads select interpolation along global axis and direction can be changed later okay so don't have to worry about it and add it close it now select this load see this load is downward so i am doing wrong so again i have to edit it double click on the load and have to just change the value this is going to be positive okay change it and you see the loads see this is on the inner to uh, outer this load is goes to inner to outer in the bottom the load is maximum in the top bottom is minimum okay again go to the live load for rest of the loads for give the rest of the load go to the live load add dead load hydrostat go to select for select the load now we select the 21 now we're going to select 23 composite of the load opposite of the plate click on done give the load minus 50 it is going to minus 2 interpolation along global y axis is y and it is local z add it close it now you see the load it is inner to outer side so we give the perfect load or perfect pressure on the plate again go to the live load add plate load hydrostat going to select plate load and select this we have selected 21 23 and going to select 22 then done and the pressure will be 
fifty and two in the y axis and it will be global x add it close it now see the load see this is inner router now if you don't understand what I have done now see this load see when I select the load they select or they highlight the load applied now watch carefully if I go to the isometric view and select this load now see the down load and down pressure is 50 kN per meter square and upper load is 2 kN per meter square ok the local um, pressure is in the Z direction local Z or global Z now see this is the Z this side is positive Z so we give the value positive and this side or you can say in your side where you sit where you watch the video this is a negative and your computer or your laptop other side is negative ok now again this side this side in the local set ok now this side is is in your in your side that is a negative one ok this is the negative and other side is positive ok now going to x axis this is x axis x positive and this direction is this direction is negative so in the direction positive direction we give positive value in the negative direction we give negative value ok it is the same in the z direction it is negative z in the your side is z so we give the positive value see positive value and this side is negative value ok again we go for the rest load go to live add plate load hydrostat select plate now for the 20 ohm plate click on done ok now pressure is minus 50 because it is in the minus x direction it is going to minus 2 interpolation along global y axis y and it is global x minus and close now select the load it is on the inner to outer load ok now all our loads are given I have to give the member load ok now you know the how to design columns and beam ok you can design it I am just showing how to design the rectangle tank ok now go to the analyze now this work analyze go no print add it close it go to analyze run analyze save now you can see no error no warning no notes so all the things are right click on done now I have to design it for that go to design concrete design we are going for BS807 for want to know the rod rod song what they are using but you can go to the IS456 because I when I'm in the previous classes I showed you how to design plates or slab according to IS456 ok now I am going to use BS807 
okay now go to select parameters now we are going to select clear compressive strength and yield strength okay then click on okay now define the parameters which i have chosen now for cover will be point now this is a water tank okay so we give the cover much larger than the raised one because cover is given or the water can't go through the structure in the rods or you can say in, if they are goes in the structure and they will harm the rods okay now we are going to give the cover 30 millimeter okay then add it now compressive strength will be 20,000 now this is 20,000 add yield strength 415 000 add close now it goes to the plates because we are going to design the plates only go to the plates assign select the clear assign to select the plates assign it yes similarly compressive strength goes to the selected plates assign yes yes strength assign to selected plates yes now i am going to comment and design slab element add close now select design element select the plate and click on as selected plates assign yes now going to comments analyze perform analyze ok analyze run analyze save <coughs> now see there is no error no warning no notes so we have done all the right things now go to the output file done now this is a concrete design okay now you see the bottom top bar okay what is the cover for all the slabs or all the plates they are showed here okay Now go to the post processing ok and go to the plates stresses type we are going to see the maximum absolute apply ok now you see the stresses where it is the maximum in the bottom or the center ok different stress in the different area okay now you go to the reaction for columns or the loads has been given you can go to the reports for plates or you can go to the output for plate stress okay okay now this is your output file so that's it that's how we're gonna design a rectangular tank okay so thank you for watching my video and keep subscribing on my channel okay so bye